it says teacher teacher here let's talk silly science today boys and girls we're going to have some fun 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 and we're going to talk about carbonation what causes sodas to fizz so let's talk about that carbonation and we'll talk about carbon dioxide now Carbonation is the process of carbon dioxide uh, dissolving inside of a liquid. Carbon dioxide is just a clear gas that's sort of all around us, a heavy clear gas um, that we don't see because it doesn't have any color, boys and girls. Now, when it dissolves into water, it actually forms that carbonated kind of fizziness that you see in your soda pops. So that's what we're going to do. Did you know that the carbonation inside of your soda pops helps to give it that tangy little taste and it also keeps it from going bad? So we're going to sort of explore that a little bit. You know how we're going to explore it? We're actually going to make some kernels, some popcorn kernels dance. Will you do that with me today? All right, here we go. So in this container here, I just have plain water. It's just water, it doesn't fizz, it doesn't do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a handful of the popcorn kernel, oops, 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 and I'm going to put it down into the water. Oh, they're not dancing. There's nothing in there that makes them dance at all. I see some bubbles attaching to it, so there's some air in there. All right, so let's see what happens when we do the same thing with our soda. So here we go, boys and girls. Now, because this carbonation is put into our sodas under pressure, I'm not going to shake it up, because if I shake it up, what's gonna happen? You probably seen it happen, it's going to explode. So I don't want it to explode all over me, boys and girls, so here we go. Oh, I didn't shake it too much. All right, but I see the fizziness in there. Do you see the fizziness? All right, so let's pour the carbonated drink inside of this container here. And let's do the same thing with these. Oh, look boys and girls, look. They're coming up and they're dancing. As the carbonation attaches to it, it's making them dance. Wow, that is so very cool. Well, I think I would have put a little bit more. Woo that's so much fun. What if we put a little bit more carbonation? Wow, absolutely. Oh, look at them, they're all dancing. That is so very cool. They're all floating up to the top. Look at these, those are floating at all. They're still sitting down there, but they do still have air bubbles on them. So boys and girls, I want you to explore carbonation and carbon dioxide at home. So I want you to actually make some of this dancing corn. But you know what? You can also do this with raisins. If you have raisins at home, you can do it with raisins as well. See if you can make them float. Oops, I dropped to what? Waste a few part. Oh. I just want them all to dance, okay? And when you do that, take pictures, boys and girls, and send those to me if you would. And I would love to just say a word to you, okay? You can send those to WKNO, teacher, teacher at gmail.com. And then what I also want you to do is I want you to go to our resource page at pbslearningmedia.org and look for other kinds of information, um, videos and worksheets and things like that, that will tell a little bit more about carbonate, carbonation and carbon dioxide and see the differences. Oh, make some more dance. That's right. I love it. I love it. I love it. And so, and just see the difference in, in water and oxygen and then the carbonation. Okay. Now, I just want to say thank you for being here with me today as we make this popcorn dance, dance, dance. Okay. And I want to say thank you to the International Paper Foundation for making our silly sciences happen. I'm going to do just like these kernels and I'm going to dance, dance, dance. So until next time, boys and girls, bye-bye.